do, do, do. Morning guys. Today, I'm gonna try out ceramic coating. Ooh. I'm going to ceramic coat my Forester. I'm gonna use my own car as the guinea pig since this is the first time I'm doing it. So if I mess it up, it's my own car and it's my own fault and I can hate myself. Smart idea, right? Anyway, I'm gonna try this out. So first I gotta wash the car, get it nice and clean, and then prep the paint to be ceramic coated. So in my last video, I told you guys I was going to be getting a second shelf for my detailing products and boom, <laughs> it's done. So now I have two shelves put all my detailing products on. The only thing I am concerned about is temperature in here in the summertime. Someone on my last video brought up a good point in the comments section temperature in my garage during the summertime and storing automotive detailing products out here. It's something I am concerned about. I'll figure it out as the heat starts coming. I'll make sure it doesn't get too hot in here. Okay, to start off, I use some pre-wash concentrate from Nanolex. Now, this stuff is designed to remove old waxes. So, I washed the whole car with it already. I didn't record it because, let's face it, I've washed my car like 30 times now on this YouTube channel. So, <laughs> I didn't record it. But, the part that you guys actually wanna see is you guys have been wanting to see the Master Blaster. Haha. -ha. So I'm gonna try the Master Blaster out in the Forester because I haven't used it yet. So let's give it a shot. Here it goes, nothing. It's so clean. It's time to correct the paint because I don't want to put sealant on top of swirls and scratches because then I'll have permanent swirls and scratches. That would suck. So you would think that having white paint would mean that you can't see scratches and swirls, but I'm about to show you that you can. I finally get to use this thing for something other than blinding myself with. Man, it is so hard to pick this up on camera. If you focus your eye near the source of the light right here, you can see mild swirling, especially right here. You can see little swirls. See the swirls right over here where the light is at? Very hard to notice. Okay, so my Subaru is a bad example. Damn it. I'm like trying to be all professional and using this scan grip light. I'm like, I'm gonna show you the swirls in my paint now. And then I get the light in the paint, I'm like, Son of a bitch, there's no swirls on this. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over the whole car then with a, a light cleaner wax, with like a light cut, and this thing will be ready for sealant. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do a, a car that's darker and in worse condition again on my channel, don't worry. Since the car is not really that swirled, I'm gonna try out this McKees 37 Fast Polish Fine Cut. This stuff is designed for like minimal swirls and very light scratches. I've never tried it before. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna use an orange pad. Yes, it's a Hexlogic, but that's all I have, so I'm gonna use Hexlogic. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this fast cut polish. So we'll give it a shot. This should be pretty quick and easy to do since my paint's in pretty good shape. All the swirls are out now. So that's just one pass. I really like these scan grip lights. These make waxing so much easier. My objective is not going to be to get my paint flawless on this Forester because this is my daily driver. It's a Forester, not a Ferrari. And I, I, I'm just trying to be real here. So 80% of the swirls that are in the paint and scratches will be gone. And to the naked eye, it'll look amazing. I mean, you won't really be able to pick it up, especially the average person won't be able to pick up the remaining little swirls. Could I get them all out? Possibly. But is it really worth my time and effort on this vehicle? I do love my Forester Gump, but it's, let's face it, it's a Forester, not a Ferrari. So I'm not gonna go crazy on it. I'm sorry, Forester Gump, I love you, but I gotta draw the limit somewhere. I'm sorry, baby. I talk to my car a lot. I talk to a lot of things I probably shouldn't. Okay, I'm gonna get this finished up because this is a video on ceramic coating, not on buffing the car. So 
Let's speed up and get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Dude, meat and potatoes sound good. I want some Boston Market or some Cracker Barrel. been about eight hours, 10 hours, 10 hours? Well, I took a lunch. Nine hours, I spent nine hours on the Forester. It has been completely cut and buffed. There's no more swirls, no more scratches. I got about, I would say 85, 90% of the swirls out of the car. I'd say it's like 85, 90% of the swirls removed from the paint. Sunset makes the satin white pearl look really pretty. But yeah, it is ready to put the sealant on tomorrow. I didn't think I had a lot of swirls until I started going and then I started getting different angles with the scan grip and then I started seeing more swirls. I was like, oh God. So I went down the rabbit hole and I spent quite a bit of time on this thing. It's day number two for me. The same, same video for you. I don't know why I pointed that out. Now that the paint is about as good as it's gonna get, <laughs> about as much effort as I'm going to put into it, I'm gonna go over the whole entire car with a polish and then I am going to ceramic coat it using Hydrosilex. Now for these areas, I couldn't exactly get into them with the buffer. So what I'm gonna use is a little bit of this Jess Car Correcting Compound with a foam applicator pad to get inside the door pockets. All right. Much better. So a little bit of swirls right here still. Just a little bit. That's about it though, I got most of them out. Now there's a lot I didn't show you guys in this video in terms of getting the paint corrected to put the ceramic coating on. The reason being is because I'm going to do a video on that process, on the MR2. The MR2 needs to be wet sanded and buff still. There's no real point in me showing you that process in this video, because this video is about ceramic coating and that's what I wanna show you. So I now have the car prepped to a point where I feel comfortable putting the ceramic coating on. Is it perfect? No, but for my daily driver and this car being pearl white, I feel that the paint is about as good as it's gonna get without doing excessive amounts of paint correction. Now with that said, I'm gonna put some hydrosilic ceramic coating. Ooh. I've been wanting to try this stuff out for a while. So there's two ways to apply this. There's the wet method and there's the dry method. So basically the wet method, when you apply this stuff, you're going to wet the car down and spray this on the wet car. So you'll hose the car off, get the car nice and wet, and then spray this stuff on, and it will bond to the car surface. And you'll know when it's done, when the water starts beating off really fast. That's one method of doing this. Now you can use a foam gun to do that as well. And there's also the dry method. The dry method, you put the stuff on basically like a quick detail wax, where it's like wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi. Wax on, wax off. Because this is my first time trying this product and I wanna get comfortable and used to using it first, I'm gonna try the dry application method. Hydrocelex, supposed to protect your car surfaces against contaminants, UV rays, which is pretty cool. It's like sunscreen for your car. So it'll help against getting paint fade or your plastics fading. It's supposed to create a hydrophobic effect. I think that's where you're like hateful towards water people. I have a fresh out of the wash microfiber. Has not been used on a car's surface yet. So we're gonna go with that and we'll start coating. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little skeptical of this stuff. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... No, that for sure looks glossier. I feel this would be easier than the wet application method because you're bringing another element into the mix. Well, technically a compound, because it's H2O. It's not an element. Anyway. I don't think I will ever do the wet application, truthfully. I just, I don't see the point at all. This is so incredibly easy. Do, do, do. You don't need skill to do this. This is so easy. 
Now that I've had some practice putting this stuff on the car, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. Now, as you know, the paint has already been prepped and that is the number one most important part. It just makes more sense to get the paint looking as best as possible before you protect it. Because if you ceramic coat the car and you got a bunch of swirls and scratches on it, you now just locked in all those swirls and scratches. It doesn't mean you can't get them out later, but you're just creating more work for yourself. It's as simple as this. Spray, that was so awkward. Spray it on the car, make sure I got a nice little square. There we go, four inch squares. And then you wax off Mr. Miyagi. And this does actually make it look a little bit glossier. I'm not gonna lie, it looks somewhat glossier. Now this is a clear bra. I'm gonna go right over my clear bra too. If you guys saw the video where I did the ceramic coating on the glass, there'll be a link up above. That was a little bit different. I had a lot more steps involved to applying the ceramic coating. It had a cure, you had to put it on a specific way. Just watch the video if you wanna see that process, but this is simple. This is spray it on and then buff it off. I'm excited to see if this actually works though. But first, I finish the car and then we'll test it out. Ugh. All right, you guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna pour some water on the hood of the car. I do it on the side, but I'm gonna do it on more of a flat surface so we can see what happens. I haven't done this yet, so I really don't know what this is gonna do. Ready? Oh, that works pretty good. Let's try right here. It definitely does bead as advertised. There still is some water that stays on the car, but it's beading. Let's see how easy it blows off. My personal opinion on the Hydrosilix. Does the stuff work? Yes. Would I give this stuff a pass or a fail? Definitely give it a pass. This stuff is pretty awesome. We shall see how it holds up now throughout the year. That will be the real test because I live in one of the most harshest environments period. Like Arizona is brutal on paint. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments down below. What do you think of this stuff? What are your opinions on ceramic coating? Do you want to see more ceramic coating type videos? Are you curious on this stuff? Let me know and I'll do some more videos because I still want to try doing ceramic coating on the plastics and on my wheels, stuff like that. So actually I'd be curious to doing ceramic coating inside the wheel well. So don't forget you guys, my scan grip light set giveaway ends this Friday. So if you wanna get in on it, the link is going to be in the video description below. So go to that link and submit to get your chance to win the Scan Grip Light Set. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.